everyone, welcome back. So, next afternoon, don't ask, lots of stuff happened this morning. All good, nothing bad. So, came in, got our cups here from yesterday, and I popped these first thing this morning, and I mean, solid, which is good stuff. That means we're not gonna have a problem with our epoxy. And also, I did this lid here too. And this is a thinner set. So if we pop this off of here like so, we got ourselves a nice little disc. So again, that's solid. So we know our epoxy worked. Uh, G-Flex. You probably remember that we laid up the hall with this yesterday, and that's solid. I mean, like, that doesn't even want to come off there. I'll end up ripping the cardboard before the epoxy even gives away. So, that's a win. That's awesome. Let me take you over to the other side of the boat. We'll take a look at what we did and discuss where I'm going to go from here. Okay, so... Here we are, and that's solid now. Um, I mean, to be honest, if just say you had to boat this down to the other end of the lake because this happened at one end of the lake and you couldn't pull it out, I'd trust it. I'd drive it like that if I had to. Uh, so that's watertight now. The back corner is the same way. Uh, this is all good. So what I'm gonna do here this afternoon is I'm just gonna come in here, I'm gonna um, scuff this up lightly with uh, some 80 grit sandpaper. And we're not looking at moving a lot of material, we just wanna scuff this up so we can put another layer on. And then I'm gonna cut some fiberglass strips that we're gonna lay up in here basically and give us a start to what we're gonna do. Eventually I'm gonna grind this out you know, up to here and we're gonna lay this up all with fiberglass. But as of right now, I just want to start a build process on here, see where that takes us, and then we'll take it from there. So back over to the table, I'm going to show you what kind of fiberglass cloth we're going to be using and how we're going to cut this up, and uh, we'll go from there. So see you back on the bench. So just want to touch on the fiberglass that we're going to be using here. So I got 8 ounce fiberglass tape, basically, is what they're calling it. So it comes, I think, one inch, two inch, three inch is what I have here. I got a roll of six inch here. And you can buy it like this. You can buy one big sheet of it and cut it as you need. I just find this is easier for me for the fact of it's in smaller packaging. I don't have big rolls of it or bolts of it lying around. Have enough stuff around this is a lot easier to keep clean if you're only using it every now and then or you only need small amounts at a time this works great for me whatever you want to do whatever you need if it's a one-shot deal like a one-off or this is something that you're gonna want to venture more into it's totally up to you what you want to do so I'm using my three inch and what I'm doing with my three inch right now is I'm cutting strips so I'm basically cutting a two inch piece and a one inch piece. And this is gonna be what we're gonna lay up on here. How I lay this up is gonna be different. Uh, I'm not gonna get into it right now. I'll, I'll basically show you, that's gonna be a lot easier. And so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna cut up a few more of these. I'm probably gonna switch over to my six because it looks like I have more of a six. It's going to be easy for me to work with, probably get more pieces out of it. So I'm going to continue on cutting these and then uh, after I'm done that we'll, uh, we'll go over to the other side of the boat and discuss how I'm going to lay these up. Again, this is totally however you want to do it, whatever's going to work best for you. There is no 
right or wrong way. Alright, so I cut up a bunch of strips here and they're all going to be one inches, or one inch, I guess. So you're going to think I'm just going to put it up here like this, right, and build this out. So that's not what I want to do. And the reason is, is you don't want to have all this fiberglass basically and it's just going to be along, so this is 15 inches, <coughs> excuse me, a long build up basically of, you know, that thick in one spot you want your fiberglass to overlap itself, right? So, I mean, there, there's more strength in pieces than there is in one individual piece, right? So what I think I wanna do here is, and again, this is concaved in, so we wanna build this out. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start with a piece somewhere around there, I think, which is gonna be about two inches. And then I'm gonna cut that and I'm just gonna keep making my pieces a little bit longer, a little bit longer, a little bit longer. And we're gonna try to overlap maybe a quarter of an inch, maybe half an inch. We'll see. We'll see how it's all gonna work out. But again, this is all we wanna do, right? So we're gonna start with that and then we're just gonna work our way out until we're up to our full 15 inches. And then we're gonna put one final piece on then we're gonna do a wider piece than that to tie all this in. And then we're gonna let that set. Uh, we're gonna be using our epoxy resin for this and I'm gonna be mixing in some Capacil to thicken this up. Um, so that's my plan for this. And it's gonna be easier for me to do this over on the bench. So I'm just gonna cut my first piece, move back over to the bench, and then we're gonna get cutting. So here we go, we're back on the bench, and I'm hoping that we're going to be able to see this somewhat on camera. And remember, the reason why I'm doing this over here, you can do it over there, wherever you're set up. Just make sure that you have a clean work area. You don't want to drop these down on the floor. You don't want to be dealing with grease and dirt and everything else. It's just going to affect everything down the road, right? So as clean as you can be, uh, the better off everything's going to work out for you, basically. So again, we have our first piece that we're going to do here, and I'm going to mark this with a number one, and then we're just going to keep going out, and as we're cutting them, we're going to label them, you know, one, two, up to our final number, whatever that's going to be, and then that way it's going to assist us when we go to lay it up, we know which piece is our first piece, all the pieces in between, and what our final piece is going to be. Uh, it's nice to be prepped and have everything go as smoothly as possible, because once uh, either your epoxy or, or your resin's mixed, you're on the clock and there's not a lot of time to play around at that point. So I'm going to go grab my marker and we'll get to it.
All right, so there we go. We're all cut up. Uh, turns out now we're gonna have 10 pieces of the one inch that I did. And then I got one piece, so number 11 is gonna be the piece that's gonna go over top of everything basically. So let me put this all together and this is gonna, basically gonna be our patch. And it's stringy, that's okay. No need to clean it up. You can clean it up whenever you're putting the resin on. You can brush it in there or whatever is gonna happen. And if you can have your ends feathered, uh, I'm not sure you know, how good that's gonna show up here on the camera, but if you can have the ends feathered instead of like, you know, squared off like that, I'm not gonna worry too much about it on this piece for the fact that probably this outside edge is gonna get sanded off prior to uh, laying up some more fiberglass and some more filler. So that being said, I'm gonna go, I didn't put my, uh, epoxy yet on warm water to get it liquidy and warmed up here yet. So I'm going to go do that again and then I'm going to come back and when I see you next we're going to be mixing that up and uh, getting our consistency right so that we can go lay this up. Alright, so while I put my uh, epoxy here on water, I went over and gave everything a quick sand with uh, some 80 grit sandpaper. And so we're all prepped over there, wiped it down with our alcohol. So that's all good. I've already mixed all our epoxy up, just gave everything a good shake. It worked very good yesterday. And you know, if it, it's not a bad idea to warm this up a little bit and then give it a good shake, because then you know that you got everything mixed up. Same thing as painting. You mix your paint before you know you start putting it on your wall and everything else so it's not a bad idea to make sure everything's in there and you get uh, a good solid end result right so we're going to go i'm going to do some small pours again with my small eight ounce cups and again i'm going to use my one to one scale to mix it up five to one so i'm going to put my five parts resin in here my one part hardener in here i'm going to mix cavasil into both of these and then we're going to mix them together for a final pour and then we're going to lay it out onto a board when we get our consistency the way we want it to and we're going to lay it up over on the other side. I'm going to do small batches again if this gets us halfway through whatever else I can come back I can mix up another batch and go back to work and that's going to extend my pot life basically where I'm not going to mix up one giant pot and it's going to want to all go off at the same time. This allows us to work in small batches, controllable, and I mean worst case scenario, something happens, you get this first layer set up and you know you got to run out, you got to go do something else, that's fine. You can come back and hot coat it later if you are able to get back in time. And if you can't, worst case scenario, you come in tomorrow morning, you give it a quick sand, continue on right so anyways I'm gonna pour this out and then uh, I'm gonna put my mask on and then we're gonna start mixing in some cavasil here and start getting in we're, we're gonna look for a mayonnaise consistency maybe a little bit thicker than that but somewhere in and around there we don't want it to droop out I don't want to sit here all night and babysit it either until it sets up so we're gonna get somewhere where it's gonna be a happy medium and uh, Give her a hat. Okay, so this is where the mask goes on. Uh, in dealing with Cavacilla here, you need to be wearing something because uh, it's not nice. You don't want to be breathing this stuff in. So here it goes. <coughs> and I'm just going to be using you know, a little plastic spoon here. And i got a couple plastic sticks that I'm just going to be mixing this up until I get the consistency that I'm looking for. And I'm going to be pretty generous here too, right? Doing this until 
you feel that you've got the consistency that you're looking for, and there's no method, there's no math to this. This is purely what you're looking for and what you want to work with. So we're already at the catch-up stage right now. And kind of see how that is. So that's good. We're going to add another teaspoon here and see where that brings us to. That's getting pretty close. That's close to where we want to be. Right there. We want to penetrate the fibers of the fiberglass. And we'll see what happens here too once I get it mixed in with the uh, hardener as well. So now I'm going to go and do the hardener the exact same way I did that. small cups. I'm going to do my final mix in the big cup. Big cup. Big stick. And you're going to want to give this a really good mix. Make sure you get all the hardener mixed around. And you're probably going to want to mix 
so I've been around there for a couple minutes anyways. And you're officially on the clock now. Reset, and we're going to see you back in the work on the side of the craft. 